I just ran a check up on myself. Yeah, yeah. Some days I just have to. Thank the Lord for my people in my hell. Then I'm fine as hell from my head down to my nails. My man tripping cause I got another cell. He still buy me by a cell. I could get it by myself.
ocean, I was waiting to shine. My father taught me don't be soft, so now I'm taking what's mine. I define myself as ambitious, young, black, and gifted. Master P, my masterpiece, that mean I don't got no limits. Bout it, bout it, I doubt it. My homies know you ain't riding. We break you down like a pound. I got it, don't pound us around me. I'm corrupted, flow cold, and it's rugged, bump it. What is up? I'm ready for all you got to love it. Like, black, yeah, and it feel like, ooh, yeah. Put on the gas, 
I will not crash. They will not stop me. Tenfold, copy, end zone. Watch me celebrate. I'm cocky. I do my dance. Jump in the stands. No man, no man. Oh, devil with the hands. Thought he could guard me. I ruin they plans. I do what I want. They do what they can. Got it on smash. Put in the gas. I will not crash. Honey, y'all dash. 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 Yeah. They can't catch up cause they lacking the stamina Way too advanced to be playing with amateurs They on attack when they tackle like damager They react and play it back on the camera Hot boy, just consider me flammable Sure shot, I got all the intangibles Need a leash, I'm a beast, I'm an animal Eat the competition up like a Hannibal Know the game like I wrote up the manual I do weekly what you do on the annual MVP, that decision unanimous Big dies, I don't think they can handle this Battlefield, it's just me and my warriors Guaranteed we emerge victorious Years, blood, sweat, tears, it's glorious I remember when they all was adoring us Dash, got it on, smash Foot on the gas I will not crash they will not stop me tenfold copy end zone watch me celebrate i'm cocky i do my dance jump in the stands no man no man oh dead with the hands thought he could guard me i ruin they plans i do what i want they do what they can got it on smash put on the gas i will not crash honey y'all dash 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 Slip on the team, now they owe me. Give me that. I need a ring and a trophy. Uh-huh. I say I'm the best cause I am. It's no need in keeping it low key. Uh-huh. I can cough up the D like a turkey. Uh-huh. Or run straight through the D like a train. Uh-huh. This year we ain't taking no losses. Uh-huh. It's all about making the game. Uh-huh. I hear a lot of trash talk. Uh-huh. He call himself making a name. Uh-huh. I put on the jets. The coach will regret even letting them stay in the game. Uh-huh. Team morale took a tumble. tumble. Next time be humble. be humble. I'm the lion in the jungle. Uh-huh. You just trying not to fumble. Uh-huh. Rumble, young man, rumble. rumble. Never slip nor stumble. Uh-huh. I take off, poof, magic. magic. Now watch me juke through the traffic. Footwork fantastic, dominating every facet. Treat the pocket like plastic. Here come the blitz, pass it. Got it on smash. Put in the gas. I will not crash. Honey y'all dash. 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 Yeah. Okay, 30,000 in the pocket, no change. Okay, I might pass the ball, but this is no game. Okay, all my girls, they love and hate me the same. Okay, so when I die, I ain't gonna be from old age. Somebody gonna want revenge. Somebody might want it now. Now, right pocket got euros, euros. left pocket got pow, pow. Somebody gonna want revenge. Somebody might want it now. now. Throw the ball with the right hand, catch with the left touchdown. Step back, let me get some room. Congrats every time I'm through. Say packing nobody new. So I never get confused. Hotel, get a bird's eye view. Hotel, get a waiting room. Read a magazine while you wait for me. Baby, I'll be done so soon. soon. Phone gotta be off each store. Got locks, I got some trusted shoes. Okay. 10K on the countertop, don't look so shocked. It's nothing new. Okay. Death comes in threes. Three. Wins come in twos. Two. Cash comes in ones. One. Throw it up, celebrate some news. Aye. I do a good job, pull up and pop out and pull off. True. Hat on and hood on, pedal to metal. When I put my foot on, I got to put on. I got a bad one, they wanna keep me. Oh, that's a good one. Pockets are dense, I think my bread is hard as a crouton. Receipts in my pocket don't come with a coupon. Aye, yeah. Okay, 30,000 in the pocket, no change. Okay, I might pass the ball, but this is no game. Okay, all my girls, they love and hate me the same. Okay, so when I die, I ain't gonna be from old age. Somebody gonna want revenge, somebody might want it now. now. Right pocket got euros, euros. left pocket got pow. Somebody gon' want revenge, somebody might want it now. now. Throw the ball with the right hand, catch with the left, touchdown. Touchdown, A floor, come down, hotel, lobby. Receptionist, what now? 11 a.m., check out, might give her one foul, just to tell her it's one now. How come? I need rest, no recess on my schedule. Right. Mama used to serve vegetables, now half the meals got tentacles. Right. Half the emirates seen a reservation and half my money goes straight to taxes. But I don't trip about it, that's what happens when you got dreams closer than a matching. Plus all your boys got expensive habits. Go. I know what they're thinking, they don't even gotta say it. Nope. They thinking they just made it. I know how to make everybody feel famous. famous. I don't gotta work no day shift. day shift. I don't gotta split no payment. payment. I don't gotta answer questions. Right. And I don't need you to okay Aye. it. Yeah. Okay, 30,000 in the pocket, no change. Okay, I might pass the ball, but this is no game. Okay, all my girls, they love and hate me the same. Okay, so when I die, I ain't gonna be from old age. Somebody gonna want revenge, somebody might want it now. now. Right pocket got euros, Euro. left pocket got pow, pow. Somebody gonna want revenge, somebody might want it now. now. Throw the ball with the right hand, catch with the left, touchdown. touchdown.
If you want some, but you ain't bad enough, so you can't take none. I'm Big Snoop Dogg, and I'm the only one. And when it comes to Madden, all y'all fools my sons. <laughs> Bag up off me and watch you lose. Snoop Dogg is on the mic, I'm giving Madden blues. And if you choose to run up on me, you gon' get laid out so fast. Cause I can get you with the run, or I can hit you with the pass. Then I can't be schemed. Roll your when I'm in a mud league. 2 0, 2 0. Madden time on you suckers. Y'all can't get close, so why you wanna touch us? Cause my team is so hard. My team is legit. It's in the game. It's the young, incredible, honestly unforgettable. You were Joe like Chappelle show. This so perennial. Do this for my millennials. I be murdering any flow. I just had to let you know. It's the young. Incredible, honestly unforgettable. You were Joe like Chappelle show. This so perennial. Do this for my millennials. I be murdering any flow. Yeah. I just had to let you know. Yeah. Uh, give me that work and I can sell it. Uh, I put it on the line like I ain't selfish. Nah. The story flip if I let you tell it. Put my heart and soul in so you feel it. I ain't never faking. I'm the realest. Since Tupac in the prison and claiming his innocence. Currently, I'm the greatest rapper in a sense. But any currency, I'm still guaranteed my wins. This is coming from within. I stuff for real, I don't pretend. When the OG spilling knowledge, bet it's best you soaking it. I'm a prophet to them scholars, got them chakras opening. Got them fixing up they actors, now they truly focused in. Uh, I'm seeing 2020 visions. Daily manifesting on my premonitions. Best to keep it neutral, got my own religion. The brainwash, gotta make your own decision. My word is James Bond, I stay on the mission. Coming for the top position, ain't no competition, man. Pull up in the top, it's missing. The opposition in all that lane switching. This is what the game is. In. It's the young, incredible, honestly unforgettable. You were Joe like Chappelle show. This so perennial. Do this for my millennials. I be murdering any flow. I just had to let you know. It's the young. Incredible, honestly unforgettable. You were Joe like Chappelle show. This so perennial. Do this for my millennials. I be murdering any flow. I just had to let you know. Too bad. 
bad, my bad. Yeah. Uh, first of the month, I'm a running back. Ay. Same day, why I'm a running back. Yeah. Friday, payday, running back. Ay. Running back, running back, running back. Ooh. 48 yards, I run it back. Ay. I cop a car, I run it back. Yeah. Go on your back, then run it back. Uh. Run it back, run it back, run it back. We are sandwiched between Fort Worth and Dallas, Texas in Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Dallas Cowboys. It's the final three weeks of the season. Still plenty to play for here as we're underway in week 15. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. down past the 40. They find some open for Sean Perriman off to the races. And he does take it in for the touchdown, but a flag on the field, and I don't think this is going to stand. Yeah, don't put the points on the board just yet. So the special team's penalty costs some yardage there as they come out on first and 10. This is Jones. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored, give yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. From the 40 now on second down. Jackson looking for Perriman there. He's got him. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 16. And on this first drive, looks like they want to get that vertical passing game going early. And they did. And what a warning shot they just fired. If you're not going to back up and play coverage deep, we're going to attack you all game long. And once you adjust to that and you start to back off, then that opens things up underneath. A really nice start for... And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off with great... And I do believe this is going to wind up a safety. It is. It's a safety. How about that for a wacky play? Wow, what a disaster. You talk about a guy making a good play on the interception and then just trying to be too cute on the return. It almost felt like his own gyroscope really got out of whack, didn't it? going backwards into your own end zone after such a great play. Totally disoriented and gave up two points for his team. Come on, fellas. The Bucks' offense set to begin their next possession. And they had a nice little drive going last time. Threw the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we've got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure, and to come away with nothing, that's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah, will they make up for it? So after the incompletion, second and ten from the 22. I know he ain't got it. He's coming. Double up, double up. Push on. Five on. 
Play action. It's Jackson. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. There's Jackson on third and long. And that is incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Taylor. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Taylor. He'll get about three as he's brought down right around the 42. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game to the air. Allen. That's complete to his receiver McCord. And he will have the first down as he's brought down go. up near midfield. A nice first down pickup on a gain of six. That throw's not going to get him a whole lot, but that really didn't matter, did it? They got what they needed on that throw. Picked up the first down, and I'm going cliche here. Game of interest, partner. Absolutely. And you talked to me a lot about opening drives, how key those are to set the tone. You kept the drive a lot. Third down conversion here is big. Well, if you look where that play starts, O-line versus D-line, that was a battle won by the D-line. Yeah, and oftentimes it's won by quickness off the ball. Who can handle the guy across from them best? On that play, the defensive line did exactly that. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. And he's down right around midfield after a gain of two, maybe three. I'm not sure that you called a trick play, but it definitely showed some imagination there. I wouldn't be surprised if they want to come back and show this play a few more times before this one is over. From midfield, here's Allen. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Even the greats in this game, and, and he certainly qualifies as one of them. They're going to have trouble if they continue to throw into double coverage. He better be careful. Throwing into too much double coverage might have a couple of them picked off. And he was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. Ready. 
The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And things haven't started so well for this side. Two drives, two punts. So now you've got to start looking not just at play calling, but which guy's going to step forward and say, okay, let's get this thing done. Because within that unit of 11, sometimes one guy can make a big-time play and break through the barrier. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. Second and nine now from the 21. Hey, D-Line, let's get in there. Let's get in there now. They go play action with Jackson. He's going to look deep for Pyramid. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Bashan Perriman, 79 yards. And the box get the quick strike touchdown. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post route? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not, He's not a team anymore. I just cut it. All right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Oh, poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But, so, hey, listen, if somebody got, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Here's Allen to throw it. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Here's Allen. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. A gain there of 21 yards. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. After one, it's nine nothing. Allen gonna throw. And he's got his big tight end over the middle, complete. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with the tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. First opportunity in the red zone for the Cowboys. First and 10 at the 19. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Bear in mind, that wasn't a big lineman back there for the tackle for loss. That was a cornerback. So are you saying the myth has been shattered? That all of them are not just cover corners. Some of them actually will stick their nose. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Devin White in there to drop him for his 11th sack of the year. Enough takes a start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. 
On third down, it's Taylor. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Give him nine on the carry, but it's not enough. And it'll be fourth down. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. So the scoring drive encompasses nine plays, and the net result, three points. Take your disappointment and put it aside. Nine plays, yeah, they want to end up in the end zone with a touchdown. I get that. But sometimes those nine-play drives pay dividends later with another nine-play drive that culminates in a touchdown when they wear down the defense. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. The Bucks' offense set to begin their next possession. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. And an alley to run. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's a gain of 16, first down Tampa Bay. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Right there, 54, right there, right there, 54 miles. From the gun, Jackson. He's got this one complete to Perriman. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. I don't know about you, but I could hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. Ball goes over the sideline, able to retain possession, no turnover. <laughs> I know his coach is screaming, just hang on to the ball, man. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. Up from the secondary to make the tackle, Jalen Ramsey. They'll run it with Jones. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 14 yards there and a Buccaneer first down. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of their yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. down to the 15 for a pickup of four. Yeah, baby. He's brought down at the 15 yard line. And we've hit the two minute mark in this first half of action. Get it, boy. Get it, boy. Mind you, coming up at the half, we'll join who, Charles? The coach. <laughs> the coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from games in progress. Godwin's got it. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Chris Godwin with a lucky number 13 touchdowns now on the year as the Buccaneers tack on to their lead. Extra point safely through. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is taken at his four. And his guys are going to start their drive right at the 20-yard line. Let's 
The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. After the incompletion, here's second and ten from the 20. They run to Taylor. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the lot of scrimmage, and that's it. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. Well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. 56, 56. Five, five. From the gun, it's Allen. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked by Tarverius Moore. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. After the interception, here's Jackson. He's going to take a shot right away for the end. And Evans hauls it in. Touchdown, Bucks. Mike Evans, his fourth touchdown on the year as the Buccaneers tack on to their lead. The extra point up and good. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is taken at the three. And he'll get it up just past the 20, and his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And you're under a minute to go in the half. The first half that hasn't been particularly kind to you. How do you think they'll play this? Well, I think the smart approach is to run out the clock, lick your wounds at the half, and see if you can come up with a strategy to play better in the second. But it's also something to challenge in your offense right here. You know, hey, guys, you help dig this hole. See if you can get us out of it a little bit before the half runs out. Let's go make some plays. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. down and they're going to throw it out and he will find his big tight end over the middle the Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half so how about that for a chain mover they're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10 and again it's Allen He'll let this go for the end zone. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. I know he wants to get his team back in the game, but a 50-50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes these quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence that borders on arrogance, and that can put your team in some dutch. Yeah, especially maybe when they look at some safer routes after the interception he had that ended their last drive. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Allen to throw once more. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. An 11-yard touchdown. And the Cowboys get a bit closer. 
Until that late score here in the second quarter, they only had the field goal. So that's just big to see that football get into the end zone. Yeah, and when you look at the scoreboard now, nothing seems out of reach. They've been outplayed in the first half. But when the clock hits zeros as they head into the half, you know what I do as a head coach? What? I tell my team to sprint to the locker room to show that we've got the momentum and show that we're right back in this game. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. The Bucks' offense set to begin their next possession. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. You know, something they feel is somewhat safe that might actually pop and turn into a big play, that's what you usually run in this situation. Or go four verticals because why not? Because you're feeling it, right? <laughs> you're just feeling it. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. Fielded about a yard deep. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made. Now the pressure comes, and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18 to throw. It's Allen. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down, then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back, but it's a big play. They've got to hold up. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that's caught inside the 35. A big play here for the Cowboys. 56 yards. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. They had the huge play last time. Here it is a much smaller gain of two. At the 32-yard line. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Alert, alert, alert. They go to the ground again with Taylor. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. Throwing now is Allen. And that will be incomplete. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything that warranted a flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. And his kick here is good. And that gets him back within 10. So a decent drive there to start the third quarter. They only salvaged three out of it, but they inch a bit closer. Yeah, but still lots of time to go in this one. That's why you hear that clapping on the sidelines, <laughs> right? Hey, got some points. As you said, inching their way back in. Time left to go out and get that victory. The Bucks' offense set to begin their next possession. You won't take. You got take. You They'll start out on the ground with Jones, and he's going to get a good gain of nine here, up to the 34. 
First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here, second and a yard from the 34. Jackson looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. And now off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Chris Godwin with his 14th touchdown of the year, second of the game, as the Buccaneers tack on to their lead. Extra point up and through, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And last time able to get three. That's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way that you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. On second down now. It's Taylor. It'll be a five-yard pickup there. So from second and 13, they're back to a more manageable third and eight. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. He's going to float this one deep right side. Well, the two men come together, and it's incomplete. Excellent work defensively, brings up fourth down. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone, eventually that becomes man on man, and you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. The Bucks' offense set to begin their next possession. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. And you scored a point. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. And this is caught by Evans. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. In your face. On third down, Jackson. And he's got a man. It's the tight end, Howard, complete. He got 29 yards that time. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz. Touchdown, Tampa Bay! Ronald Jones, touchdown number 15 of the year as the Buccaneers tack on to their lead. The extra point up and good. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Set now to kick this one away and off it goes. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20.
The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to pump from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. From the 22, here's second and eight. Go! Tight end right, tight end right. Ballard now looks to throw. Throw right sideline is complete. Give them 18 on that one, and it's a Dallas first down. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Yeah, that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. Call it a loss of six on the play. And it'll be a second and long. Back now in Arlington. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play. And facing a second and long. Shift, shift. Monday. Here's Taylor. Room to run past midfield. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A gain there of 21 yards. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Going for the deep ball. And this is taken in at the five. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Terry McLaurin. His 11th touchdown of the year. And the Cowboys cut into that lead. So the shotgun snap to Allen. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off down near the five. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Charles, you said earlier this defense is probably going to need to hold these guys right around 20 or under that if they were going to have a chance. It was evident pretty early on that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, they left 20 behind a long time ago in this game, didn't they? It looks like they're headed towards a big, big number. But 20 was the threshold because that kept them in the ball game and kept the pressure off of their own offense. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. He completes it to Evans. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. They have the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now, still throwing the football. And I know my background says, why do you need to do this? Just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win. But as many people pointed out to me, this is a video game, man. <laughs> go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not an issue. Exercise those fingers. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Right there, 54, right there, right there, 54, Mike. You ain't going nowhere. 54, Mike. Oh, oh, oh. Check, check, watch the pop. Oh. Now Jackson. He finds his tight end, Howard. That's complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Jackson. 
That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Chris Godwin, 51 yards as the Buccaneers tack on to their lead. The point after is good. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is taken at the three. The Cowboys take over first and ten at their own 18 yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Chips over here. Five wide, five wide, five wide. Who's on the dead? Allen off the play fake. Trying to lay one up deep. And it's knocked away and incomplete. He has been nearly impossible to throw on all year long. If it was me, I'd say he could go ahead and book that trip to the NFL Awards show in February. He's going to be Defensive Player of the Year, I think. What do you think? I, I would agree with you. And the reason why? Because he takes the ball away. Because he gets to the football. The only way a defensive back ever wins this award is because they have a number of interceptions, takeaways, knockdowns, all that. Add it all together, he's created a lot of big plays. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion, kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the field. To the air, Allen. And he finds McLaurin. And oh, so close as he takes it all the way to the two-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. So that's about as long a non-scoring play as you're going to see from inside their own 10 to first and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And this will result in him losing yardage back to the three. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. Allen, and it's intercepted at the goal line. Snags it for the pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent, and now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. They go play action here on first down. He finds his target. It's Evans. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Let's go. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. After the penalty, it's Jones. And not much there at all, as he'll get this only up to about the 11. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Right there, 54, right there, right there, 54, Mike. There's Jackson on third and long. Now he's flushed out left. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Gladly Chubb in there to get him. And on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. Brandon, what I remember most about playing with guys who knew how to rush the passer, they would just tell you, just cover people for me. Just long enough for me to get there. And that's exactly what happened on that play. You ain't going nowhere. A nice job on the return there. 16 yards. And we have reached the two-minute warning. Go, go, go. 
The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. He's out to take the left. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Another try after the first down sack. Allen. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Just nothing there again. He's been sacked multiple times. We've seen the interceptions, of course. Uh, he's really been through the ringer, hasn't he? And what we've seen is a defense is well-coordinated. The front and the back really in sync. The front putting on the pressure. The backside being ball hawks and picking passes off. And that last reception puts him over 150 yards now on the game, Charles. And now it's not just execution. It's not just performance. It's a mental aspect that's going on. Because right now, he has kept the defense so much on their heels. Got them looking at each other. Who's going to cover this guy? And what kind of coverage can we put out there to try and slow him down? And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Cowboy first down. Man, these guys may not win this ball game, but you certainly can't fault the effort of this man here today. He's been a real thorn in their sides all afternoon. And that last carry puts him over the 100-yard mark. Allen now on first down. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. And once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Now Allen throwing again. Going to throw deep for the end zone. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. Another incompletion. You know, it's a wonder he's still moving around back there the number of times he's been sacked. Yeah, he's staying out there, isn't he? And you don't think about it much in a game like this, but he's showing incredible leadership. Still competing, still fighting, not taking himself out of a ball game that appears lost. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. From the gun, it's Allen. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off inside the ten. And he'll take it all the way up near the 30-yard line. This home crowd, they're happy with that call. <laughs> I like the way you said happy there, right? The so-called good guys didn't get a call. They feel like it's been that way all afternoon. You feeling their pain? They finally got one. Yes, they did. Now Allen toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. This will be caught at about the six. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. That time the completion goes for four yards, and we're set up with a third and goal. Allen now on third and goal. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. So Allen breaks the huddle, and his guys will go for two here. Again, they'll throw with Allen. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Should have been picked. Probably doesn't matter on a two-point conversion, but still, as a former DB, you want to grab that ball when you can, don't you? You certainly do, and, and don't say it, because I know you're thinking it. Don't say it. <laughs> what am I thinking? You know what I'm, I know what you're thinking. Well, if he'd had hands, he'd be playing on offense. Right? Yeah, that's true. You've said that before.
The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. They have the dream scenario you hope for coming into the game. Just one kneel here, and this game should be over. That's always the final play of preparation each week. The practicing of the kneel down formation, the victory formation. We've got a game in hand, and that's all they're going to want to do now. They'll put someone back deep just in case something goes haywire. But all in all, take the snap, kneel down, and, and shake hands. Yes, get out of there. And a big loss here as he's taken down. And now we'll get a timeout here. They're able to stop it with one second to go in this game. Throwing on third and long. Looking downfield for Gun. And got his man complete. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feeling like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. Let you let you. 